Century. They were out rebounded 49 to 30, outscored in the paint 38 to 16, and a quick Bobcat hoop right there. Well, everybody yeah. that took them out of the ball game. And Faso with the rebound off the draw, they miss. Vinales pops and sticks a three. Cal Vinales, a six-time NEC Rookie of the Week this season. And he's in it's Malcolm McMillan, number 11, with the basketball. Drives past Dave Johnson to the hoop. Well, they cleared it out right there and gave him a the lot, basketball. A lot of white shirts inside on those boards. That's a good sign. Tasic from Kenny Horton. Tasic, what a tremendous look up in the air. Good job him. by Horton to come out on that double team that far from the basket. Young beats the clock. That's 10 straight Quinnipiac points before Vignales answers down at the other end. Wow, great. Burbage right to the basket, and the Blue Devils are playing with confidence. And as he lays it in first. About that. So Jamie Jackson off the double team. Outside for Hurst. Back to Jackson. Backing down in the lane. See the double team down low. He had a kick defense here by the Blue Devils. Malcolm all over Conti. They're doing a very good job defensively. And Johnson's got to force that. He hits it, Paul. But that was pretty solid defense. But he got a lot of guards in the game right now for the Blue Devils. And the size of the Bobcats taking advantage there. Vignales, fearless, has 17 as he answers quickly. But with six seconds to go, the Bobcats can come right back down the floor. James Johnson does. Tip does no. And we've completed one half of play with Quinnipiac on top, 39 to 33. Third team a foul on the Bobcats. Horton, by the way, is one of eight from the field and 0 of three from deep. Vignales gets the roll. That's 23 points for Kyle Vignales. Swung out of his hands. Horton with the save for Fessa, and here come the Blue Devils. Well, nice look inside by Davy Johnson. Horton did a great job of getting his hand in there, and then the quick give and go. Horton make the wing pass. It's a three-point game, and Vignales comes up with the steal. He has been a one-man show. The jump pass for Tosic. There's an NBA three. James Johnson kind of stood there passively. I don't think he thought that. automatic call and another turnover, bad pass. Who's got it again? Kyle. Kyle came into today's action with 26 steals. And another three. And where did that come from? Kenny Horton. Johnson, Johnson, that's Dave and James. James fires the three and hits. He's got 18. The ball in their road blues with yellow trim. With a chance to regain the lead. Down low, Asatam fights for it. Well, Asatam doing a great job. They just kind of ran away. Dave Johnson and James Johnson in the backcourt for the Bobcats. And James Johnson coolly sticks the two. to play. Garvey Young guarded by Tasik. Loops it down low for Drame. Oh, that's too easy. He's got seven. And Quinnipiac is on top. Some arc on that free throw shot. Missed the front end of the one and one. Tasik an NBA three off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Hurst. With 15 seconds to go, I believe Howie Dickerman has called off the dogs. And so Quinnipiac's going to be able to dribble it out. Central went six minutes without scoring down the stretch. And they paid the price. They'll come up short. 67 to 59 as Quinnipiac walks out of New Britain with a sweep of this rivalry week season series. So Quinnipiac wins at 67 to 59. As you said, they improved to 15 and 10 overall, 8 and 6 in the conference. Central drops to 10 and 14 overall, and 7 and 7 in the NEC. Back with more after this.